Hey friends, before we start today's episode, I have an important message to share with you. As you must be aware, due to certain new policies, you are not able to comment on our videos. But don't you worry my friends, you can still share your valuable feedback, comments, views and love at our email ID peekaboo-kids-feedback at gmail.com. Similarly, you can also visit our Instagram and Facebook page and continue to engage with us. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Oh no, it seems like I forgot to turn off the water tap at night. Oh little kitty, wake up. You have been drooling excessively in your sleep. Well, that's an excellent question. Hey friends, so in today's episode, let us explore this sticky situation and answer a drooling question. Why do we drool in our sleep? Zoom in! Drooling, also known as hypersalivation or sialuria, is nothing but excessive saliva that we all experience. But unwanted excessive drooling, usually while sleeping, can be annoying and embarrassing. And at times, it can be a matter of concern, as it could be a sign of issues in the body. Which brings us to the vital question, why do we drool in the first place? Well, there are multiple factors behind drooling in our sleep. And the most common reason can be sleep itself. Yes, dear friends, when we sleep, our facial muscles tend to go in full relaxation mode, leading to a slightly open mouth. This allows the accumulated saliva in the mouth to start slowly dripping out, making us drool. But fortunately, our bodies are designed to swallow the saliva while in sleep, which doesn't allow most of the liquid to pour out unless you change your sleeping position. Yes, when we sleep on our side or on our stomach, it leads to excessive drooling as gravity tends to pull more saliva out of our mouth, thus submerging our pillow under spit and making it uncomfortable to sleep. Another factor behind drooling can be nasal congestion, commonly known as blocked nose. You see, we are evolved to breathe through our nose. But if congestion is present, we have no choice but to breathe through the open mouth. If this occurs in sleep, saliva may drool onto our pillow. And the last major cause behind excessive drooling can be allergies and infection. Yes, if your body is allergic to something or has an infection, it might produce more saliva to flush the toxins out and fight the disease, especially during sleep. So, the most crucial question is, what can we do to reduce or stop drooling? Well, the easiest way to tackle it is by changing your sleeping position. Yes, by sleeping on your back, you'll be able to control the flow of your saliva better so that it doesn't end up flowing out of your mouth. Apart from that, the other good way to reduce drooling is by drinking some water as staying hydrated will thin out the saliva you produce, which will be easier to swallow. Remember my friends, drooling in your sleep is nothing to be embarrassed about. But in case you are concerned about it, then the best option is to bring it to your doctor's attention ASAP. Trivia time! Did you know the average person makes up approximately 0.5 milliliters of saliva per minute? I know, it really doesn't sound like a lot, 
but multiply 0.5 milliliters a minute by 24 hours in a day and it comes down to 720 milliliters. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Ah, never mind.